In 1938, the fascist Irvin Schockel described John Hartfield as follows in his book, The Political Poster. No one who has once seen and spoken to this untidily and shabbily dressed Jew will be surprised, however little he knows about Jewish physiognomy, that a man with a face of such abysmal ugliness could in turn only bring forth ugliness. This scum of humanity and prototype of Jewishness could not but be attracted to his own kind, and only there could he achieve something which, in terms of the idea he served, could count as of value. Dick Freed wrote a poem for John Hartfield in London in 1969. A little nimble man, where did he get his English name? Was he one of the many in exile in England who hurried to ape English manners the quicker to disappear? No. When the Kaiser's Germany in World War I screamed, God punish England, a German in Germany changed his name, and Helmut Hartzfeldt became John Hartfield. Zurich and Berlin Dada was a moral protest against the ruling culture and the bourgeoisie that had fermented World War I. In their montages and in their sound poems, the Berlin Dadaists took reality apart and put it back together in a different way. From the magazine Dada 3, 1920, Monteur Dada John Hartfield teaches the intellectual Donkey Dada. Marshal George Gross. Portrait of Rao Hausmann, Dada Sofa. P.P. Dada, Walter Mehring. A photo montage by Hartfield and Gross graced the program of the first international Dada fair in 1920. It was the high point of Berlin Dada, arranged by Gross, Hausmann and Hartfield. The photo montages and assemblages caused a storm of indignation. Dilettants, rise up against art. America, photo montage by Gross Hartfield, 1920. Instead of brush and paint, Citroen reports, Gross and Hartfield used photos, scissors, glue, buttons, pubic hair, and a centimeter rule. The Berlin Dadaists soon parted ways. Unlike the Bader, Hausmann, Hülsenbeck group, the Hartsfelder, Hartfield brothers, and Gross devoted their talents to political agitation and propaganda. Dadaist disrespect for the bourgeois culture was the spark that set ablaze political photomontage. Prices high, cartels well sewn up, the Krupps and Voglers rake in the profits. Anyone who won't tow the line is shot, and Herr Schmidt takes care of socialism. But not until Hartfield began working for workers' newspapers did his classical photomontages on current events appear.